My credentials in life coaching. One, I survived Taiwan. Two, I continue projects that I know will fail or at least not flourish. Three, I know how to take the projects that I have and scale them down so they can become microscopic. Of these, the greatest accomplishment I have is that I survived Taiwan. And I've talked about that in a previous video in this short series. Currently, I'm getting life coaching certification. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing it from two different certifiers. Uh, the, the one I'm currently going through uh, has a master's degree working on his PhD, may already have it. It's a husband and wife team. It's a Udemy thing. And, and I don't like it. I already disagree with it, but it's useful because it, it talks about making systems. They've got some interesting, useful lists. But as I've already talked about earlier in the series, there are many improvements I think they could make. And I talk about that in my manifesto video earlier in this series. I'm going to give you an example now. Recently, I was talking with a friend and I asked him, he, he said that he'd already gone through, you know, the like create your own life or something like that course curriculum with Jordan Peterson. All right. Okay. That's great. $10, but you get what you pay for. I mean, are you going to map your whole life based on $10? I hope not. But all right, you know, JP is useful for a lot of people. A lot of people are going to take that $10 and they're going to get thinking about something they never thought about before. But now it's time to get serious. I asked my friend, at set, I said, what's your goal in life? He said, I don't know. I can't think of enough details. I'm still writing out the details. I'm like, oh my goodness. You're not supposed to write out details for your life, your ultimate ideal in life. It's too far away. You cannot possibly see the details and you shouldn't be trying to write them out. That, that, that's all wrong. I just asked him in general. I said, tell me in general, what does life look at at 70 for you? And he said, uh, I'm still being productive. And, uh, you know, I, I help people. I'm not going to share too many details, but he gave me an answer. I said, okay, for you to get there, what's life going to look like at 50? He said, well, I'm, when I'm 35 years old, I said, no, not when you're 35. Skip that when you're 50. Skip. We're not going to do 35 yet. 70 is your goal. Hello. You got to plan life backwards. You got to plan life backwards. It's, I mean, like, hey, you know those little maze puzzles? Like you got to draw the line through the maze. You know how to solve them, right? Just do it backwards. Start at the end, work your way forward. You'll, you'll probably solve it. Mm -hmm. Hindsight's 2020, right? Okay, so imagine yourself at the end of your life where you want to be looking back to where you are and the path to where you're going will become really easy. But if you're always starting with where you are looking forward, you're actually carrying your past with you, living in the past everywhere you go. It's hard to do. Getting away from living in the past is one of the most difficult things. But the, the, the journey to letting go of not living in the past starts by just envisioning yourself you know, if, if, if resources were never a problem, where do you really want to end up? Really don't, not where can you end up given what you've got now, just where do you want to be? So I said, forget 35. Let's talk about 50. I'm not going to go into the details, but one of the things that this guy said, if I'm going to be where I want to be when I'm at 70, then when I'm 50, I have to have my own company. I said, are you going to keep owning it? He said, I don't know. I said, okay, you've got a company that's worth selling. It's worth selling. Maybe you keep it, maybe you don't. He said, all right. And I asked him this question. What? I said, that's radical. That's, that's about 20 years from now. If you're going to have a company that's worth selling in only 20 years, you're going to be doing something radical. That is a radical goal. Do you know how radical that is? And he's kind of quiet. I said, do you realize how radical that is? Now, I love this guy. I love radical. I'm radical. I, if you're not radical, I'm the wrong life coach for you. But I did say, do you realize how, you need to realize how radical this is. He said, okay. He said, this is radical. I get it. This is radical. I said, here's your homework assignment. I want you to write 600 words. 
because it's, you know, 600 words is a thing, about what radical, rat, like nobody else does it. Most people would tell you that it's wrong and crazy. What, everybody else will tell you it can't be done. What radical thing are you going to do to get those radical results, ridiculous results? He was quiet because he was thinking. And that's one of the questions I ask. Are your goals radical enough? And second of all, what radical, ridiculous things are you going to do in your life? What, what I mean, uh, you know, and I, as I said to my friend, one guy scheduled his life in 15 minute increments. Now that wouldn't do it for me. That wouldn't affect my life, but it did his. That's kind of a radical thing. Yeah, uh, uh, me. What radical thing did I do? I went to Taiwan. What radical thing are you going to do? Now, of course, I've done other radical things. Studied Bible, translated Bible. What radical things are you going to do? I'll hash those out with you. That's a, a, a real testimony from life coaching. Now, um, I may add more in this mini series, but this wraps it up. Currently, you can go to Patreon dot com slash Jesse Steele. Starting with tier 50, 100, and 500. There are only four of the 500 slots. Once they fill, they're, they're filled. Only 12 of the 100 slots. And of the 50 slots, the $50 a month slots, I, I, don't, I won't talk with you one-on-one -on -one with those, but I will do writing with you. There's only, I think, 20 of those. Now, they may not be available only at Patreon, Go to jesse.coffee, like not .com, .coffee, jesse.coffee. There's also jessesteel.com. Look around at my websites. They're kind of a little bit related, but focused. And you can, you might be able to look for other ways. Look for Avenue Guru. I might be adding a way to, to pay for coaching on that. Start with Patreon. Patreon gives you Discord roles. You can join the, the members only Discord, that starts at $5 a month. And you get the t-shirt. The t-shirt one is $15 a month. So the $50 one really is only $35 more. The $100 one is really only $85 more because you're already getting those others. Something to think about. Sign up and get coaching because space is going to be limited. And you know, before I close this video, I think I need to explain why I'm doing this. Life coaching is not my career long goal. I have other projects I'm working on. You can see a lot of them at jesse.house. You can go to books.jessesteel.com, see the books that I've been writing. And each of those has a project of some kind that I am continuing at least on some level. Especially pink write and uh, ink verb. Those are two big ones. Also the people's party. I'm all, I mean, I'll always be involved as a voter. I've got projects that I am continuing and I will continue to focus on in life, but I'm carving out a little bit of time to help coach people. And I hope as long as I can in my life, I will keep that time carved out. I'm, my time might get expensive, but I'm not going to charge what I probably could. Even, even if I calculate my costs that I'm worth you know, a million dollars an hour. That's what my, you know, if, if I become daddy Warbucks, you know, let's just say, I'll probably keep a small number of life coaching clients, customers, students. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Athletes. How about that? I, I even call it thrive coaching. So we'll call it thrive coaching athletes. So if, if you're, I don't have clients. If you want to take me on as your life coach, I wouldn't call you a client. I'd call you an athlete. I just invented the term now. How do you like that? I would probably keep a small number of life coaching athletes even for $1,000 an hour, even if I'm worth a million dollars an hour because I believe that this is important. I believe in taking time to help people. 
I learn from it. I, I can't lead a company. I can't be a politician. As a politician, you kind of got to take everything and set it aside and focus on politics. Like, I think it's a law. But I, I can't do a good job with any of my other projects if I'm not taking time to help people. That's why I'm doing life coaching and that will keep me informed with other things and my presence with other things and the fact that I'm going to take out time for you. That's why you want me to be your life coach.